you got was number four. Five. Oh, it's moving about. from the other side. from here to here to keep the door from sagging over time but it wouldn't look good I'm gonna to try to make the, the, the I'm gonna to try to make this as sturdy as possible hopefully with glue joints and uh, So what I'm doing here is I'm going a quarter, uh, an inch from the inner inner portion, and inscribing a line, so I know on what trajectory to put my dowel. Right. It's an inch from the inner side. And that dowel does one thing. It lines up the piece. The screw will be the clamp and the strength of the material is going to come from that glue joint with the dowel. Now, if that dowel, if the glue joint ever fails, the dowel is still glued in there. So that's an extra piece of strength to keep everything tied in together, right? Sometimes it's the joinery that makes or breaks the piece, right? Uh, I don't think pocket screws or, or pocket pocket screws, yeah, would have been strong enough to keep that together. And uh, dowels are are among the strongest joints you can get.
I could put two, right? But then I, 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 I'd have to rig something for the fastening and, and wait till the glue, glue dries, right? Which is uh, not always um, an option. But this will permit me to actually um, I just glue it and, and leave it there without any clamping necessary, extra cost or, or to the project and I still get a strong joint. Okay, so now I better go two and a half, and it's got to be thirty-six rough. Any splits in there? Thirty-six.
probably need two of these, but there's a little defect there, and I don't know how deep it goes. If I want two and a half. I think it'll be fine if I go, um, once again, down to 36. with if I put it full width on the back uh, it'll just be stronger put those in the corner here see that on the front but what you do is you pull the rod back through the back and then you pull it out and then you set it whatever level you want it at so I'm going to do that um, I'm going to go check what size of rod I have though uh, steel rod Basically, my bit, the bit that I used to go in there wouldn't go deep enough, right? So I'm going to chase it with this. Alright, so I got to blow out the holes to make sure there's no debris in there. That will Send me off sideways or anything.
So if I'm not too rusty, it's uh, twice the speed when you're filing, quarter, quarter, counter bar. Uh, instruction the education books say you should file with your left hand right I probably end up hurting myself I really have to go with my right even though I'm on the inside of the chuck a left-handed would find this easier right but I can't, I gotta go this way. I don't know why, but. themselves on those rods and uh, now I'll bring you in to show you what they were for. This person wanted some shelves, right? So what you do is you count the number of holes and on the reverse side there are holes as well so all you do is you make sure your shelves are not uneven but I noticed that this one is uneven um, and I don't know why I think I may have made a mistake um, I'm just gonna oh I know what it is I forgot to puncture that hole right there because uh, this is a uh, 12 12 and over here it says 12 as well I forgot to puncture a hole here I gotta do that so now I'm gonna take care of the lid this there's no splinters or anything
So, I'm putting on the stops for the door. Just to prevent the door from going too far. Make sure that this is square. Get the halfway mark. There. And I can probably, before I do that, keep it symmetrical, right? Started this project, I wasn't, I wasn't too sure, you know, about what the final result would look like. But the more I go at it, the more I like it. Pretty great, actually. Makes me want to go out and buy a kayak or a canoe and build one from a kit, right? Now for the, uh, the shelves themselves. I have these pieces. I have enough. 
Okay, now I'm going to put a, a fillet on these in the same fashion. And then all I need is a piece, a cross piece that goes up against this on either side. Then that should be enough. Unless he puts, a person puts a big heavy pot right in the middle and then a weight's all on one board. But I doubt it. Well, I'm glad this is uh, getting close to the end. So I'm going to start putting fillets on that. Get me a little sliver of something and use it. Even well, this is kind of thick. Where is it? Nah. I think that'll be all right. too much. Wish I could make up my mind, eh? I'm gonna 
try sandpaper and compress it a bit. hinges here. I don't think this will be enough, right? Thank you, little. I added a, uh, a hinge or a uh, prop so I can prop up this here now um, I think I'm gonna put a screw a screw on top of this and poke a hole in there so that way it'll be easier when you, you when the screw gets to the hole it'll just drop in there so it'll, it'll really hold solid 